Here in the middle of the city of San Diego, endangered species are protected and native plants are nurtured to preserve threatened habitats. This area is just one section of the Miramar landfill. It's located off State Route 52 between the 15 and 805 interstates. The city began landfill operations here in December of 1959 on land leased from the federal government. Back then, this area was considered rural, far from people and development. Today, the Miramar landfill is centrally located in San Diego, surrounded by homes, businesses, and Marine Corps Air Station Miramar. So, what happens at the landfill? The city's Environmental Services Department works every day to safely maintain its only active municipal landfill. The city complies with local, state, and federal regulations while providing a valuable service to San Diego residents. State law requires that a certain amount of disposed waste gets diverted from being buried at landfills. The city exceeds this mandate every year thanks to waste diversion efforts. The city also has a self-imposed zero waste goal to be reached by 2040. The idea of waste diversion is simple. Less trash going into the landfill extends the landfill's lifespan, which continues to save the city and taxpayers millions of dollars. For this to happen, city residents must work together to divert material at the collection point. Recyclables, green waste, and trash are collected separately. They are taken to different facilities for either recycling, reuse, or disposal. There are multiple ways the city diverts waste at the landfill itself. Before reaching the landfill entrance, residents can drop off recyclable items at the Miramar Recycling Center. Tons of bottles, cans, paper products, electronics, large appliances, and more are collected for recycling at this facility every year. The city's Household Hazardous Waste Transfer Facility is located next to the recycling center. City residents can safely dispose of common household hazardous materials free of charge by appointment. This facility accepts items like batteries, paint, swimming pool chemicals, fluorescent bulbs and tubes, solvents, cleaners, used motor oil, oil filters, poisons, and insecticides. All of these materials are taken to specialized facilities for proper disposal by licensed hazmat professionals. Waste that's not taken to the recycling center or the household hazardous waste transfer facility is brought to the landfill for disposal. City staff members screen and spot check incoming loads. Okay, no liquids, no appliances. Unauthorized materials are quickly identified and customers are advised on where to take them. As customers proceed through the facility, they'll come across the Miramar greenery on the left. This is where residents can drop off yard waste. Over 99,000 tons of yard waste, food waste, and wood are recycled every year at the greenery to produce high quality mulch, compost, and wood chips. These products are processed and made available to the public. Residents can self-load two cubic yards of compost or mulch for free with proof of residency. Landfill staff also uses the mulch for erosion control, soil conditioning, and landscaping. Any materials not considered to be green waste are transported to the landfill tipping phase. Making one final attempt to divert unauthorized waste, hazardous materials inspectors scan the landfill tipping area for prohibited items before burial. The tipping face is the heart of this operation and what most of us think of when we think of a landfill. Here, trash is unloaded, moved into place, compacted to maximize space, and covered. The Miramar landfill was initially set to close in 1992. The city has been able to extend the life of the facility thanks to waste diversion policies, technologies, and engineering methods which play a big role in how the landfill operates. The landfill is divided into cells that are carefully designed to protect the environment. These cells are specially lined with high-grade plastic to keep pollutants out of the groundwater. Miramar landfill engineers oversaw the process to ensure proper installation of the liners. Technology and engineering are also used to make use of another waste product, 
Landfill gas is a flammable methane gas created as organic materials like food and green waste decompose when buried. At the Miramar landfill, methane gas is collected and transported using pipelines to the city's Metro Biosolids treatment facility. Here, it's turned into electricity. The electricity generated is used to provide power to the city's biosolids treatment plant, the North City Water Reclamation Plant, and other areas of the landfill, as well as some power to MCAS Miramar. Soon, it will be powering the city's new pure water facilities. Any excess methane gas is brought to the surface of covered landfills through a network of wells and pipes. It's then transferred to a central location where it's safely burned. Throughout the landfill, trucks regularly spray water onto unpaved roads and the tipping face to provide dust control. Water is also used to create high quality mulch and compost at the Miramar Greenery. Thanks to the North City Water Reclamation Plant, water used for landfill operations is all recycled and costs 50% less than drinking water. City employees keep the tipping face area of the landfill small in size and cover it at the end of each day. Crews utilize an enviro cover to keep odors in and birds and other critters out. It also prevents the spread of contaminants and disease. The daily covering allows the city to make the most of the very limited space available by reducing the amount of dirt used to cover the trash. This not only saves landfill space, but money as well. When a section of the landfill has been filled, the restoration process begins. Here you can see what that process looks like. City staff have replanted native species of bushes and shrubs. Mature plants provide habitat for many birds and animals, including several endangered species, helping ensure their future survival. Operating a modern landfill is a complex job. It requires state-of-the-art technology, creative engineering, and hard work. All of this results in saving city residents money and protecting the environment. The Environmental Services Department is proud to provide this vital service to residents. And the City of San Diego is committed to safely maintaining the Miramar Landfill for many years to come.